Let's start. Today we will see how to implement a strategy with stop loss and target in the trading view pine script. Let's see the code. This is a strategy function with the name strategy with stop loss and target. The process orders on close attribute is set to true so that the trades won't appear one candle late, which they otherwise do. Here we have calculated and plotted a 50 exponential moving average. We take a long entry if a candle closes above the moving average. Here we execute the entry using the strategy.entry function. Then we use the strategy.exit function. The from entry attribute of this function, and the ID attribute of the above entry function should always match. Here we set the stop loss using the stop attribute. If the price goes 50 points below the entry, we mark it as a stop loss. Here we set the target using the limit attribute. If the price goes 100 points above the entry, we mark it as the target. At the end, we give a comment on the stop loss or target candles. Let's add this strategy to the chart. As you can see, now we have various trades over the chart. Let's see a couple of them. Here we have a long entry at the close value of this candle, whose value is displayed in the green box. And when the price went 100 points above the entry point, our target got hit, and the trade got an exit. The value of the target point is displayed in the red box. Mind you, the trading view will only execute the order when the candle has closed, so in an actual trade, the trade will get executed at the candle close value. Similarly, here we see a long entry. Then the price went down 50 points below the entry level. And the stop loss got hit at this candle. Again I am saying it as a warning that the trading view will only execute the order when the candle has closed, so in an actual trade, the trade will get executed at the candle close value. So that's it. That's how you can create a strategy with entry, stop loss, and target, in the TradingView Pine script. Thank you.